Grandpa and Thomas by Pamela Allen. Hi girls and boys, it's Mrs Adams. Today we're going to talk about the book Grandpa and Thomas and talk about three of my favourite words from the story. I'm guessing you've all read the story now or seen it online. So in the story, Grandpa and Thomas go to the beach and Grandpa gasps when Thomas tips water over him. The water was so cold, it gave him a really big surprise. And he took a quick breath in and said, oh, that's cold. What did Grandpa do? Yeah, Grandpa gasped. Could you say the word gasp? Gasp. How many syllables can you hear? Gasp. Gasp. Just one. One beat, one syllable. Sometimes it's because... We gasp when we need air in a hurry, like when we've been out of breath, perhaps we've been underwater, or sometimes if we're surprised or shocked. Can you show me how you gasp? <gasps> oh, that surprised me. So I want you to have a think if this is something that would make you gasp. Would it be something that would surprise or shock you? Ah, uh, let me think. A spider jumping on your hand. Would that make you gasp? <gasps> it would make me gasp. What about someone putting ice on your leg? Do you think that might make you gasp? Mm, I think so, especially if it was really cold. What if you were snuggling up with your teddy bear under a blanket? Would that make you gasp? Mm, I don't think so. It might make you sigh, though. <gasps> Okay, the next word that I liked in the book was the word wriggly. Can you say wriggly with me? Wriggly. How many syllables can you hear in the word wriggly? Wriggly. Yeah, wriggly. Two, two syllables, two beats in the word wriggly. Grandpa could feel something wriggly in the tunnel. He could feel something twisting and turning in the tunnel. What did he feel in the tunnel? Yeah, he could feel something wriggly, twisting and turning in the tunnel. If you think something is wriggly, I want you to say wriggly worm. If you don't think it's wriggly, just shake your head. Okay, what about the squirming and the twisting that you do when you take off a really tight jumper? Does that make you wriggly? Did I hear it? Wriggly worm? Yeah, it is a wriggly thing to do. What about a car zooming along a really straight road? Mm, I don't think so. It's not very wriggly. What about a snake slithering across the grass? Did I hear it? Wriggly worm. Yeah, I agree. Okay, now, so we've done the word gasp. We've done the word wriggly. The third word for today is the word screech. Can you say screech? Screech, it's a funny word, isn't it? How many syllables or beats can you hear? Screech. Hmm, just one. Okay, when someone screeches, they make a really loud high noise, a bit like a scream. So Thomas fed the gulls and they screamed or screeched. Locka, looka, looka. What did they do? Hmm, they screeched. Oh, I know I've heard seagulls screech at the beach, especially if I'm eating hot chips. Mm, they screech a lot. Can you make that noise? Mm. Okay, if this happened, I want you to think, would you screech? If you think you would, say the word screech. If not, just shake your head. If you see that a cup is about to fall on somebody's head, would you screech? Mm, I probably would. I'm a bit of a screecher. If you were lying on your bed relaxing and looking through a book, do you think that would be a time that you might screech? Mm, no, I don't think so. Uh, unless maybe you saw a spider running across the book, then you might screech. What if you go really fast down a slippery slide? Mm, I know, I would screech. Okay, friends, I hope you've enjoyed talking about those words for today. 
There's some more fridge words for you from the story Grandpa and Thomas. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.